What's up guys? Check this out. Shopping around online and I found this aluminum battery strap for the 410 SL. Uh, just kidding guys, I made this out of some angled aluminum that you can get from Home Depot. And what was happening is I was running the battery towards the back and this thing is kind of flexy. It bends. And I was looking for a carbon fiber one but they don't make it yet. So I made this thing and let's put it on. Slides right on there. Super light. Like it's basically solid aluminum. Probably not aircraft quality, but it's not going to bend because of that angle on it. I had to make this little grommet right here for the little lock nut and put some padding underneath. And this thing is not going to flex anymore. And check it out. I found a use for the little dinky bumper they give you. Check it out. <laughs> I just chopped off the mount where it goes to the back of the truck. And it's right there. Let me zoom in on that. It actually lined up perfectly, which is kind of weird. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it the holes that were pre-drilled in that bumper mount line up with those holes right there in the chassis. I can swear there's a little L, if you guys know where it is, like a little L piece that comes in the like bag Q or whatever. And I feel like I lost it or I'm just imagining things. It's kind of like this, but it goes the opposite way. This, this other, this piece here, but it doesn't have the lock screw part. It just has this L portion or I don't know, maybe I was imagining things. But either way, I made one so it shouldn't move forward whatsoever. And this thing is not going to flex upward. So what was happening is the battery was popping up and kind of sticking out by the end of the race because there's nothing really blocking it here except for the aluminum. So it should hold in there. Let me try and get in there a little bit where it's not too fuzzy. It's it's in there nicely. That's a 6300 um, GND battery I have in there, high volt, and it's doing great. I do like three practice laps and eight minute main, and it's it's coming back in at about 3.79 volts. Uh, per cell all right guys thanks for joining other than that i just want to show you a little bit of bling i got well not really bling performance upgrades here got a center top plate um some aluminum exotech spindles. let me get the part number on these i think everybody is already probably getting these things it's the spindles for the et410 and the eb410 and uh kind of pricey guys so maybe try to get a coupon from a main like a ten dollar off thing or something and uh, or use your points and buy them then but i also got these um these are not as pricey but like 18 dollars each i got two because i have the truggy uh right there the et410.2 and also the sl of course so i got two of each and then i already have these on my short course i need another set for the truggy pretty cool this this uh sumo um sumo rc it i get these on ebay i don't know where else you can get them but they bolt right onto chassis i didn't show you guys this before right there and there so it really helps out the chassis uh, doesn't change the ride height by very much as you can see it's super thin but just enough to protect the chassis all right guys um oh also got these aluminum hubs but yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, like I said, I just basically used this as a template and had this sitting in the garage and went to cutting on it. <laughs> Easy peasy. Took about 30 minutes, um, but there it is. Here's a good view of it. It slides right in where the other thing was. It's not touching the servo. And it can't move forward because of the circle slot that this locks in. So yeah, there we go. All right, guys, thanks again for watching my YouTube videos, my race videos. I will be sure to post more as the next races come. This coming Sunday is going to be another race, so hopefully I win that one, and I'll show you guys the race video. Win place or show, don't matter. I'm just going to show it anyway. All right, guys, take care. Be safe. Keep on driving.